Hey guys, Kev here. I have a package to unbox for you. So this one comes by way of Blade HQ. Let's open her up with my Chavez Knives Sangre. This is the uh, JG10 version. Uh, JG10, sorry. This is the Black G10 version with the, uh, you know, bead blasted raw tie uh, lock side, the satin blade, of course, M390. And what's in here is actually another Sangre. So this is uh, one of the Blade HQ exclusive ones. And I got this because I was thinking I could maybe do some swapping. Of course, penis everywhere. Just shooting penis all over the room. God damn it, Kev. Hold on, I gotta clean up all the penis. All right, let's see. Blade HQ, Street, Stonewash, GCM, PVD, BO, I don't know, whatever. Ooh, okay. So here you go. You get the uh, replacement clip for the pussies. And then you get, ooh. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold your phone. All right, I thought this was a different color of my car. Ooh, that feels good. Oh my God, the detent's great. Look at this thing. That's sexy. How's the action? Dude, and the centering is dead nuts. No play, no rock. Hmm. So my thought was to basically what I was going to do is take this scale and this blade and put it on this knife, right? So that was going to be my plan was a satin shit. And I probably just totally fucked everything up. Did I just Lost the tip on this sucker. Oh, I think I somehow got lucky. Let me just check. I'm such an idiot. How did I even just do that? Just like flicked it right into it. seems yeah it still seems fine I may have gotten it a little bit but I don't think I broke it I think it's fine um sorry so yeah uh, this <sighs> shit so yeah I didn't think I would end up liking this so that was my thought. My thought was I'd probably hate this one, version and then I would just cannibalize it for this one, right? Because I do like satin and everything. And then I could take the, um, put the satin blade on the black frame. So basically my point is I don't like how they do this. I don't know why they do black G10 with a raw tie show side, right? Like why don't they do a black frame with the black g10 and then do the satin blade and satin hardware or whatever like i don't know why they i don't know why they do that um you know but this actually feels really good uh this example is is pretty dialed to me the lock bar feels like i don't know it just feels really good um and the detent I don't know if it's because of the, um, I don't know if it's because of the coating on the blade, but I, I don't know. I tend to not slip off of this one, but I miss it sometimes for sure. Now you're still going to have that terrible choil on here. 
but I mean, that's just par for the course. But this, my Carta is really nice. I've never actually felt my Carta like this, I don't think. Just, it's different. Usually, Riot, the my Carta you get is, um, I don't think I have any because I, I usually just avoid it um, at this point. I used to get all the knives in that micarta, right? Now I don't. And the black blade doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I thought it would bug me a bit. I, I really do obviously prefer a beautiful belt satin. But I would have to... Hmm. Hmm. So you'd basically have this body right you'd have that going on which does look pretty good doesn't it you could even take the clip off of here and put it on here um and then you'd have you know you'd still have this you'd still have this but now i kind of like you know i like the micarta so now i'm wondering how would it look with the micarta and a satin blade right like what would that look like Looks pretty good. You could keep the black hardware, so I'd basically just be doing a blade swap. But I don't know. I, I kind of like this one, and I like... Uh, I don't know. I like being... I like that it's different and has the black blade, I think. As weird as that sounds, I think I like that. Because it won't rust, and it kind of looks good with the micarta. And this is light, guys. Uh, I don't know if it's lighter than the G10, but it's softer than the G10, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think I might just stick with this all black one and just keep this. Call it a day. As long as I didn't bust that tip. No, oh, it seems fine to me. And this one's probably going to be easier to sell uh, as just a regular Sangre, right? I mean, you would think it would be easier to sell that way as opposed to taking it apart. You can see my internal dilemma right now is figuring out what I like. Uh, I'm also afraid to take them apart and then fuck something up and then, you know. But I don't think I'd like the micarta with the satin blade. So really, the only reason to take them apart at this point would be what? to put the black frame on this one. But then I'd want to go probably all black with black G10. So I'd basically be taking this scale off and putting it on there. And I did have some slight centering issues with this that I finally got sorted out. I got it Loctited in place. Um, actually, technically, I super glued it in place, but it's like money now. So there's really no reason to mess with it. Um, and this one, I should check the pivot on it. Usually they loosen pretty quick and then you, you back to square one. Well, oh. You never know what side it's going to come out of. It's stupid these days. And I bet you Loctite will stick better to this black coated screw than it will to the uh satin screw because i had trouble loctiting this one that's why i ended up super gluing it <laughs> doesn't look like there's much going on in there yeah i think unless i have issues getting this one to loctite or go back together or whatever uh, i might just keep this one call it a day right I don't really see a reason to mess around. I'm sure you guys have your opinion, so we can talk about that if you want. Okay. Went back pretty good. Okay, let's see. Is it centered? Okay, let me get all the shit out of here. This is where I struggled with uh, this one, centering. 
to me it looks no yeah see it's boom it's right off to that side again that's better but it's still off Ugh, here we go no play I'm guessing this is why they tend to loosen because, um, whoops, I'm guessing this is why they tend to loosen because, I mean, you can see the centering is off, right? You can see right down there, it's way off. Um, man, is it hard to see though. There, that's obvious, right? And it's obvious there, too. So, how far off is it? Back it off. Better, but still way off. Now it's probably loose. Yep. And it, so that's the thing. It wasn't loose when I... So that side's not loose. It wasn't loose when I got it, right? It wasn't off center. So like what's going on with these knives that they're centered from factory and as soon as you take the pivot screw out, which mind you was loose, so it was gonna loosen anyway, as soon as you take the pivot screw out, it comes, you know, off center. Or is this just look off center and it's not? But, I mean, to me, it looks way off center. I wish you could see, but you just can't with this fucking... I mean, right there, it's obvious. And then on this side, let's see if we can get an angle. Let's just try this. See, it looks better from that angle, right? But when you look at it, I mean, you can clearly see it's over to the clip side. And that side's just obvious. I mean, I know the camera's not dead straight down, but. And I've been through hell with um, the other one, taking it apart, putting it together, and, but at this point, I've started, so here we go. I might try uh, skiffs, see if that helps. It did not in the other knife, but you never know. And the washers in here are like, they're, let me zoom out. The washers are huge. So it doesn't seem like something... I can just pop another washer into, and this is another thing that was a pain in the ass, the construction, the, the screw comes out the other side, right, and the pivot screw for some reason is loosening from the clip side, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's like this knife just hates me, let me get those out of there, so here's the washer, you can see they're thick as fuck and i don't really have any replacement ones and i'm worried if i try thinner ones it's just not gonna help right it's just gonna throw everything off and they tend to have like chips and shit like you can see it's chipped right there so like i don't know how good that is for everything but <laughs> clean that off Make sure the pivot's in all the way. Okay, now the question is, do I want to swap anything while I'm here? <sighs> do I want the satin? Right? Do I want this? This is originally what I was going to try to do is this. Right? Maybe even keep the hardware the same or swap the clips or something. I'd have to do a full hardware swap, I think, which would fucking take forever and suck. So, 
I don't know. I kind of like it the way it is, to be honest. So I think I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to put this in upside down. It's going to fall out now. Clean this off. We didn't have any issues with lock stick or anything, so there's really nothing to do but try bearings. And let's see what happens. All right. Don't think these will fit, but I'm going to try them real quick. Oh, shit. Look at that. Three millimeter or three sixteenths fit. Huh. I just assume they would be. Um, five millimeter. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Very simple construction, I mean, barely anything going on in here, really. They're pretty easy to get back together. It's just about getting the screws in in the right configuration, right? Um, so I'm going to test it before I go ahead and start loctiting shit, because I tend to do that, and then... It doesn't, centering still jacked up. I need to try something else, and then I'm already cleaning Loctite out again and whatnot. So, that was not a good idea, Kev. Let's do this. I can already see it's way off again. We'll see, is it better? Yeah, it's actually better, but I don't know how tight it is right now. It's really tight. Interesting. There's some kind of like wobble. I wouldn't call it, I don't think I'd call it lash. Well, it's like that one bearing is like, I don't know, it's interesting. Let me just, make sure everything's tight. Damn, we're real close to centered there too. I have noticed with some of these uh, Riot knives with the detent ball ramps, they kind of, it's like the ramp needs to wear in or something. So sometimes it'll feel a little janky for a minute and then it kind of wears in. There's something going on here where it's a little rough. But now it doesn't have that play to it. So it probably just needs to wear in, I think. Pretty tight. And we're pretty centered, so this might be the way to go is the skips. Well, I wonder what 5 millimeter skips would do, because this feels a little bit, I don't know. 
Is it the lock bar or is it? Because to be honest, this feels smooth. Like I don't feel a lot of grit in there. Like I did with the Jaegers. You know, you could tell that was what needed to wear in was the path. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting a little pressure on the, on the detent ball. And then I'm opening and closing the blade so it's wearing the path in a little easier. If I flick it a million times, it'll do the same thing. I'm just trying to speed that up a little bit. Try to do it kind of evenly so you don't, you know, wear a path differently or whatever, but... Not quite. I mean, if you look at this one, you see how smooth it is when it drops. It kind of just wants to glide home, and there's no play or anything. I mean, look at that. And I finally got the centering. Like, again, not great. So I think, I just think you're not going to get it perfect on these, and I got to just deal with that. But I do want the action to be as close to good as perfect. So let me go back. Let me um, try a couple things. I know this isn't the funnest thing to watch, but I have a couple ideas. I did buy some O-rings. We could try those. Sometimes that'll help with action, too, in a weird way. Um... I want to try the 5mm bearings. Skiffs, I mean. That's another thing you got to remember is I flip the washers over. So they need to wear a path. That can take a little bit of time. But I'm wondering if those are a little tight. Let me leave them there just in case. Because... Yeah, this feels like an old video, doesn't it? Feels like one of my old videos. Oh. I used to do this all the time. Just haven't... I just haven't been, like, dicking around with knives as much. I guess. I don't know. Or I do it off camera? I don't know what's going on, but... Good old days. like a lot of oil on here. Try that again. I just like to put a little smear of the heavy in. I don't want a lot in there. Okay. This time I'm not going to let the blade fall until I seat that backspacer properly. So that's the five millimeters. Just want to see what happens to the action. Yeah, you see that total difference. That's crazy. All right, so it it was the three sixteenth. Uh, so the three sixteenth bearings, just I think they were just a little tight on the pivot, and that's what it was. Because I'm a, I can feel a noticeable difference in how this is gliding down. And this is, I'm pretty sure, with it's as tight as it goes, I think. Although, I, I want to double check. Just make sure I do this.
was wrong. It's just hard when you get oil all over your fucking hands and then you're trying to... The flipper tab on these knives is god-awful. I don't even know why I love this knife, honestly, but I do kind of love it. <laughs> Alright, so I think I like those bearings better, that's for sure. Now I got O-rings, so here's where it gets weird. I tried these on the other Sangre, and it didn't hold. These look way too big. Um, I didn't realize how fat they were. So what I'm going to do is try this one. It's very small, obviously, but it's not a big screw either, so... All right. Let's see what we can do. Centering is definitely much better, and I think I could... I could dial that in pretty close, I think, but I'm gonna be careful. Gonna clean out the inside there in case I didn't do that already again. Did I ever put Loctite in here? I don't think I did. But... Right. So this little bugger should fit pretty snug over this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's the key. You want your O-ring to fit snugly over the screw. You don't want it to be super loose because then it will probably not... It'll get stuck in the, in the hole there. I'm just trying to move it down. Getting a little excited here. Sorry. Sometimes an O-ring can work wonders because not only does it stop you from having to use Loctite, it also will sometimes allow you to have a knife with a looser pivot still have a tight tolerance, like side to side. So that, in this case, could help me with my centering issue. So let's just see what happens. All right, so that's... Feels pretty good. It's very close to center. Back off a of hair. Uh, let's see. It's a way better. See that? It's still gonna look off there. There's nothing I can do about that one. Let's see if there's any play. No play. Just shits and giggles. I think it's going to keep breaking in, to be honest. But I don't know if I... Uh, man. I just don't know if that O-ring is going to hold in there. Because I kind of loosened it a good bit. So it might be worth just trying to Loctite it in this spot. If that O-ring's not doing anything specifically I don't think the o-ring is holding it looser if that makes sense so hang on a second here's my current plan oh fuck how am I going to get this thing off oh, that'll be fun getting this thing off can I just cut it seriously just scratching the damn threads Can I Loctite it and have the O-ring? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm seriously two seconds away. Let me just...
Do you just like rotate it as you? I'm getting it slowly but surely here. My name's not Shirley. Sangre coming in clutch. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can shut the hell up. Just get this done. Sorry, guys. I know this is fun. All right. So we're going to. So there we are, not centered, super tight, not bad. I can do the thing where I back off, pinch, make sure everything's tight, come back a little bit, loosen this guy. I think maybe if I get her a little bit more centered. Then tighten her down. Maybe. It's not horrible. No play. Action's really good. I just want it to be like there, but it's not. But you know what? I think it's going to be good enough because this one is in the same exact spot. And I've been loving that one for a couple of days now, so kind of hard to, you know, it's just unfortunate because I can't really tighten the pivot much. The only other option is the stock bearings but in you know try flipping them in a certain configuration so that they you know it's just not even it's just not even close is the sad part I think that's better right there and I can try the old you know trick but I doubt it's gonna work which way do we want to push it it's probably what they do at the factory to be honest
man, it's definitely better. Still rock solid. So. Can't go much further than that. Pretty good. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Call it a day, guys. Sorry, I know that was a lot. Um, but that's, hey, it's my life. Looks It looks a little bit better, but not really. It's just all, you know. So it turns out the Sangre just has a big centering issue. I don't know. It's probably the fact that they have two different scales. I would venture to guess that the titanium versions the full tie ones are probably centered and they're just having issues being able to get these uh one-sided scale ones done i don't know um i could attempt to swap blades and stuff and see if that does anything but i don't really feel like it so um i think that's where we're gonna leave it and we'll see how she loctites because like i said um i just could not get that one to have the Loctite cure. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm hoping with the black coating, it, it works pretty well. So I'm going to let this sit. And then um, I will be selling one of these. And it's probably going to be this one right here. Uh, even though I like this one, I like the action. I like the looks. Um, I like the G10. Um, this one's just kind of a little cooler. You know, it has the micarta, which is different for me. Um, and the black blade won't rust and... I don't know. It's just different. I guess that's a reason enough. And I'm I'm gonna go ahead and doubt that uh, the Sangre in its in general is gonna last very long in my collection. So, you know, I might as well sell one, and then we'll see how much I like the other one and if it sticks around long term. So, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you saw anything I missed. Um, I've at this point dicked around with the Sangre uh, for like hours trying to center them up and it just does not want to uh center it just doesn't want to do it um so uh yeah that's it so probably we'll get a full review uh on this knife at some point unless i just you know get pissed off and sell them or who knows right so we'll see but uh there it is the chavez knives sangre flipper and uh yeah i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later